Today I wanted to take a look at some of my most prized horror possessions. Um, these books actually and some DVDs are quite hard to come by and we're starting with Halloween by Curtis Richards. This uh, paperback book is $750 on Amazon.com. <laughs> it's quite crazy to think like such a thin, it's it's just a piece of paper, honestly, um, that it's so much money, it's worth so much money. It's crazy. I love the vintage look of this. Um, this also comes with like the prologue of Michael Myers. I still got to read it. I know. Like before I had this book myself, there were some people that I saw on YouTube that owned the book and hadn't read it yet. And I was like, Dude, come on, man. You have one of the coolest and rarest fucking books in horror history and you're not even going to read it. Yet, here we are. I've had it for like four years and still haven't read it. <laughs> Halloween 3, Season of the Witch by Jack Martin. This one on Amazon is... Uh, it's a steal, honestly. It's a bargain. $1,500 for this book here, right here. Uh, oh, actually, there's another listing. 83 35 so that's a bit cheaper but come on man it's a book it's a fucking book man do you know where your kids are tonight so yeah very awesome and this one i got myself for like 70 dollars um i was like fuck it i need to have it it's probably only gonna you know get more and more expensive and it did so luckily i did actually buy it myself when it was still a bit cheaper this one was um around like 30 bucks when i bought it but as you can see this also um you know went way up in price friday the 13th by simon hawk um this one i got for free that's right someone was uh, kind enough to send it to me uh her name was kitty the her instagram name was uh girl with the radiator that's like a david lynch reference i guess so it was extremely kind of her to send this to me and that was because i helped her get another copy of this one as well as part two three and four, uh, six which are also very rare uh so she had a duplicate and was like i'll send it to you since you told me about this listing which is very awesome and this one is around 296 dollars so kind of crazy to think I got it for free. Then Friday the 13th Part 3, 3D by Michael Avalon. This is an earlier draft and it's Jason is weird in this book. Like he doesn't, <laughs> he, he, he talks and I don't know if he talks, but at least he laughs. He laughs in this book. There's photos inside, very cool back cover here. And this one is, let's see here, $106. So a bargain. Over here we got Friday the 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. I uh, always love this fucking cover. Like that shit looks so fucking cool. This um, has the alternative ending where they were supposed to follow up with Jason's father. But that scene got cut from the film. I'm not even sure if it got filmed in the f like at all. But at least it was in the screenplay. And since this book is based off the screenplay, it's in this book. Um, very interesting read. Very awesome. Uh, I think at some point Tom McLaughlin mentioned it in the interview with him that I did over a year ago. And um, yeah, awesome stuff. Friday the 13th, Mother's Day. Now, as you can see, this book is kind of torn up. Um, like some dog <coughs> chewed on it. This one got sent to me by Joshua Wayne LaRue from the 80 Slasher Library. Awesome guy. He narrated it and was like, I don't need it anymore. Do you want to have it? I was like, sure, I want to have that in my collection. Uh, it's kind of torn up, but whatever, whatever, whatever's right. This one is $1,500, so also uh, quite expensive. Then Friday the 13th, Hell Lake. Um, this was a fucking crazy, crazy read. I did a review on this book just because of how fucking bizarre it is. It's crazy. It's fucking absurd. This one is around $70. It's not listed on uh, Amazon at the moment, but as of today, it's around like $70. So also not too expensive, honestly. I mean, it's fucking bizarre that a paperback book is $70 and it's fucking awful too. You know, compared to Hate, Kill, Repeat or Church of the Divine Psychopath or the Jason Strain, those are like all over $300. 
as far as I know. So 70 bucks isn't too bad, but it's still like for a book. I don't think it's worth it. Then Jason X The Experiment. I couldn't find this on Amazon, but for some fucking reason, I found Xmas and O's, a very alpha Christmas book too. Book two of ten. Her mistletoe minotaur. Her mistletoe minotaur. Her silent night. Oh my god, that's awful. A bite of Christmas. Up to snow good. No. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. Odin's honor. What the fuck is this book series? Anyway. Got a little sidetracked there, but here we have Jason X, Planet of the Beast. Now, when I bought this, this wasn't that rare. It was, uh, or expensive at least. It was like um, around like five dollars, I think. So I got it for like five dollars. Right now, the cheapest offer on Amazon is thirty dollars, which, um, you know, also isn't too bad, but still quite expensive. And I'm sure it'll only rise over the years. You know, maybe this will be. This will be a better tactic than Bitcoin or whatever. Jason X Death Moon. This one was around like 20 bucks when I bought it. Right now it's at $60 on Amazon.com. And then the last book, Jason X to the third power. There used to be only one listing of this book uh, on Amazon that was like over $1,000. Right now it's actually lowered in price and you can get it for really cheap. Um, you can get it for $978. It's a steal. Now I have two DVD box sets. Now these aren't too expensive, but I think they're mostly rare uh, and hard to come by, especially outside of the Netherlands. Over here in the Netherlands, I got them from like our local eBay for fairly cheap, but I think they're quite hard to come by in, in the States or anywhere else. I think they're, yeah, they're Dutch releases, but they're like fucking cool releases, dude. Like we had some great releases. So this is the Hellraiser box set. I haven't seen any of the Hellraiser movies, but I bought this box set a while back, a couple weeks back, um, because I'm going to be doing a series where I watch all the Hellraiser movies for the first time ever with Joshua from the 80s Slasher Library. It's going to be so much fucking fun. I can't wait. And this box set is very promising. Like it looks so fucking cool, man. Look at that shit. Like, it folds out. I don't want to fucking break this shit. Yeah, so I can't really show that conveniently enough right now. But there you go. The Hellraiser box set. And also, a Children of the Corn box set. Also very cool stuff. I watched the thir first three. So I still need to watch four, five, and six. I've heard nothing but awful things about four, five, and six. So I'm not, you know, that's probably why I stopped at three and still need to. I'm a bit hesitant about the others, I guess. And this opens up the same way. I think the same company published these box sets. Really cool stuff. And uh, that's all for now. I do have more. I have a bunch of rare and Diamond Elm Street books. Uh, I have one other John Carpenter book that's quite rare. Uh, and some other stuff. So if you want to see a part two of this, definitely let me know in the comments. Give this video a like and let me know if you want a part two. And in the outro right now, you will see the video that's most suited for you. So consider watching it. It will show up on your screen right now.